Tomo News presents facial recognition. How Microsoft's planning to make your mirrors smart. Microsoft has designed a smart mirror that allows you to check the weather and look up the status of your stocks while you brush your teeth in the morning. Everything a person could ever want. Microsoft's Magic Mirror is a one-way mirror with a 23.6 inch LCD lit screen behind it which allows the mirror to show white UI elements on a dark background. Besides displaying information like the time and the weather, the mirror may also be able to tap into the Internet of Things and provide information like the fastest route to work. Microsoft uses a Raspberry Pi 3 microcomputer to power the magic mirror. The mirror also uses Windows Hello technology to conduct facial recognition. Its facial recognition system is able to recognize eight different emotions, including anger, happiness, and surprise. The facial recognition feature could provide real-time information to advertisers on how people are reacting to an advertisement displayed on the smart mirror, which is totally not intrusive at all. Microsoft unveiled the mirror at a technology conference held in Singapore last month. The product is still in its early stages and not commercially available yet, but that hasn't stopped people from getting crafty and building their own. There's no escaping in China. Chinese authorities have begun donning high-tech glasses to spot suspects, the latest use of facial recognition technology in the increasingly all-seeing state. Police in Zhengzhou can now verify people's identities within minutes using sunglasses with a camera attachment, which is connected to a database via a portable device. Officers who spot a suspicious person from as far as 5 meters away need only take a photo showing at least 70% of the face. The photo is run through the system, allowing officers to access information like names, ethnicity, gender, and address. It also details the hotel a person is staying at, recent internet history, and whether he is wanted for any crime. Seven suspects involved in a kidnapping and hit-and-run incidents have been arrested so far, with 26 others apprehended for using fake IDs. The use of facial scanners and other similar technology are widespread in China, where there are fewer privacy concerns. The government is in the process of amping up surveillance, starting with a database containing relevant information on its 1.3 billion citizens. Facebook is coming for your face. Oh no. Facebook announced on Tuesday it will soon be introducing new facial recognition features in order to give users more tools to manage their identity on the platform. People will soon be able to activate facial recognition with an on-off switch to enable three different features, according to a Facebook blog post. First, Facebook will alert you when pictures of you are uploaded, even if you have not been tagged in them. Second, you will be notified if your face is being used as a profile picture. Third, visually impaired users can now hear aloud the people tagged around them in group photos. And to get all these great features, you only need to give your face data to Facebook. Giving biometric data to a social media site? Sounds like a solid plan. Amazon submits patent for pay-by-selfie technology. The Seattle-based company has filed a patent application for technology that will soon allow customers to pay by taking a photo of themselves, instead of keying in passwords. Amazon hopes to improve security for its users with the new technology. When a user logs into the Amazon app, after selecting their items for purchase, users will be asked to take a selfie, performing a requested action like blinking one eye. The app will then employ facial recognition software to confirm the user's identity in place of stored or re-entered passwords. The user's identity is then either rejected or confirmed. Only when confirmed can a purchase be completed. While Amazon concedes it's possible in some circumstances to trick the system with a two-dimensional image of a person, it expects the technology to improve security. China is watching. The world's most populous country is building its surveillance network and could soon be keeping a close eye on each and every one of their 1.3 billion citizens. Roughly 176 million AI-equipped surveillance cameras are currently installed all over China, with the number set to increase to 626 million by 2020. Citizens' ID profiles, social media photos, and other personal details are being filed in a database and connected to security cameras nationwide. 
the advanced surveillance system uses facial recognition technology to instantly identify the name, gender and age of any pedestrian and the type and color of any vehicle. The same technology is being used by commercial and private institutions for financial dealings, keyless entry, and even to thwart toilet paper theft. The system can also scan faces and compare them with the police database, allowing authorities to locate and apprehend criminals at large. The network claims to boost safety and security and reduce crime, but has ironically been dubbed Skynet. Terminator, anyone? That Skynet ended up trying to exterminate humanity, but the Chinese version will probably be worse. They're watching your every move. In China, someone's always watching. Facial recognition is popping up everywhere in China as the government looks to technology to keep constant track of its people and what they're up to. Chinese apartments equipped with keyless entry use cameras to scan and verify residents' faces. But although convenient, the technology is also being used by authorities to monitor individuals and identify alleged bad guys and persons of interest. The project, called Sharp Eyes, intends to connect public security cameras with those in private compounds and buildings to form a nationwide surveillance and data sharing network. Sharp Eyes' aim is to compile information on citizens, including criminal and medical records, travel and purchase history, and social media use, and link it to a face and identity card. Its name derives from a communist slogan and is linked to Chairman Mao's attempts to get citizens to spy on each other. Supposedly, the system can track suspicious behavior to help eliminate crime, which in China can be anything from homicide to speaking out against the government. Ultimately, the goal is for total surveillance, and in a country where being an ethnic minority or an activist can get you flagged, that prospect is frightening. New car gets facial recognition tech. Fiat Chrysler has unveiled their new electric minivan concept. The vehicle is able to recognize motorists and passengers for a fully customized system. The Chrysler Portal comes equipped with facial recognition technology. A camera behind the steering wheel initially scans the driver and saves his or her user profile. For subsequent trips, an exterior camera identifies the driver walking toward the vehicle and automatically adjusts car settings according to his preferences. The software is reportedly able to recognize drivers even when they modify their look. There's an option to add voice recognition software for added security, as well as extra cameras around the car to recognize and save passenger profiles. The portal was unveiled at the CES Technology Expo in Las Vegas, but has not yet been put into production. Those interested will have to wait until after 2018. Even technology can be biased. A study conducted by MIT's Media Lab revealed something shocking about facial recognition. The systems are better at identifying light-skinned males than darker-skinned females. MIT researcher Joy Bulamwini built a data set of 1,270 faces from different countries that included a large number of females in public office. The faces included three African nations with predominantly dark-skinned populations and three Nordic countries with mainly light-skinned people. To see how well the systems are at identifying the faces, three different facial recognition systems made by Microsoft, IBM, and Megvi of China were put into the trial. Each face was assigned with a rating for skin type based on the Fitzpatrick rating system, a six-point rating system which dermatologists use for classifying different shades of skin. The results showed the systems had an easy time with lighter-skinned men, only misidentifying gender in about 1% of all photos, and about a 7% inaccuracy rate for lighter-skinned women. The system struggled with darker-skinned men with 12% inaccuracy, while darker-skinned women just seemed more difficult for systems to read correctly with a 35% inaccuracy rate. Based on the results, the study suggests the systems require some urgent revamping in order to operate in genuinely fair, transparent, and accountable ways. Privacy? What privacy? A Georgetown Law Report has found that a biometric exit program for airline passengers is improperly gathering data on Americans and violating their privacy. The Department of Homeland Security has installed facial scanners in nine international airports across the U.S. as part of their biometric exit program. The program is part of efforts to nab travelers who are overstaying their visas or using fraudulent documents. Passengers' faces are scanned at the boarding gate and matched to a DHS database for verification. 
Face scans are mandatory for foreign nationals, but U.S. citizens on international flights can opt out and have their documents manually checked. It's unclear, though, if American passengers are being informed of this option. According to Homeland Security's own data, 1 in 25 travelers are erroneously rejected by the system despite using valid credentials. The technology also reportedly had high error rates and often inaccurately identified women and African Americans. JetBlue and Delta look to the future. Boarding passes could soon be a thing of the past if trials of biometric technology by two U.S. airlines prove successful. JetBlue Airways is testing facial recognition technology on flights from Boston to Aruba. Instead of using a boarding pass, passengers taking part in the trial pose for a photo. The photo is transmitted to a U.S. Customs and Border Patrol database, which matches the image to the passenger's passport photo. Meanwhile, Delta Airlines is testing fingerprint recognition technology to grant lounge access to customers enrolled in its rewards program. Delta plans to extend the trial to check-in counters and boarding gates. The airlines hope that biometric scanning will speed up boarding times and improve security. Dutch national carrier KLM started using face scanning for boarding at Amsterdam's airport in February. If this technology helps get us to the gate quicker and keeps us safe in the air, then we're all for it.